wait, come back, come back, little friend. I need to stick your DNA into this mysterious glass jar just in case something dramatic happens to you. All right, good, our little new guy is safe. And then the very last of the year raptors are here and we need to go ahead and try to protect him. Only 3000 population left. <gasps> you guys, I really think we may have pushed things a little bit too far, but hello, my friends. And welcome, welcome back to Birthdays the Beginning, where I think we have um, kind of made almost all of li the life on our planet go extinct, except for a few creatures, <laughs> including this really amazing new flying reptile who has been hanging out in the skies. He literally looks like a hero variant of these. Look at him. Look at him. He is so beautiful. I really, I adore him. I really think that he is one of the coolest things we have had come from our little exoplanet experiment just yet. However, he is now one of the only things that we have here. We have made the world so hot in trying to get to the perfect like place for our dinosaurs that I think we have actually driven most of the world to extinction. We're going to ride this out for a minute or two longer because we were told by Navi that what we needed to go ahead and do was to make the world really hot. That's what Navi said. We were just doing what Navi said. We were just doing what we were told. I feel so betrayed right now. Oh, look at our little fish. I love all the fish we have. Oh my gosh. All right, Climatus might actually evolve into these small fish. So that would be really cool. We don't have any more Velociraptors, which is a problem. We also don't have any more Dimes, which is a problem. We also don't have any more Itchies, which is a problem. We're in a little bit of trouble there because we have had basically that whole line go extinct. Uh, we were trying to work our way up to the Tyrannosaurus, but apparently we need like plesiosaurs. So I think we need to have more creatures from this line. Let me see. No, we need more of the dimes. I think we needed the dimes to go ahead and evolve or no, I think we need the Euroraptors to go ahead and evolve. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. So I think we need the Euroraptors to really evolve, but we need these hot seas. We need the sea to be between 40 and 60 degrees Celsius in order for this guy to show up. And I need these Euroraptors, the first dinosaurs, to go ahead and really start spreading. Um, and they can only tolerate, th they can tolerate things up to 53 degrees Celsius, but 40, anything over 43 is a little hot for them. So let's actually try a couple global coolings because we made things so freaking hot. So let's actually lower things just a bit. All right, we're gonna lower it twice. And we're gonna see if that's the sweet spot to maybe bring life back to, onto this planet. Because <laughs> our little exoplanet's suffering, friends. All right, and then let's see if we can maybe stay strong and wait for a 100,000 years to pass. All right, populations are struggling. The Euroraptors are on the edge. Codium for Jolly has once again gone extinct. Come on, come on. My fingers are crossed for something big to happen. Oh, okay, it's been a 100,000 years now. The Euraptors are still struggling. Oh, they're really struggling. Oh my gosh. Codium for Jolly has returned. Euraptor populations are just on the verge of extinction. How do I keep them from going extinct? What do they need? Uh, they need their prey. And to get the Dimetrodons, we need the Itchies. And to get the Itchies, what do we need for the Itchies? We need to get all the way back to where the Itchies will show up. We need to get it cooler again. We just did not establish a strong enough population, I think. Maybe that's our problem. Maybe it's just too hot. We have so many questions that need answered. Maybe I need to let another million years go? Ah, is 42, but like the dinosaurs said they needed things really, really hot. I was just trying to listen to them. And at least these plants are starting to spread. You know what, I think we should give those plants a chance. We're gonna give the like 40 degrees Celsius times a chance. Even if the, our, our species populations have immensely diminished. Oh. I'm so sad because we had like that whole huge area. Oh, look, some of the little spider guys came over here too. You know what, friend, if you're gonna be here, can you like maybe mutate into something really cool? I'd really appreciate if you could mutate for me. So I had something new and not just like these alerts 
that everything has gone extinct and I probably have buckets of the water of extinction just waiting for me as my bitter gift. <laughs> uh. Alright, up we go. At least the conifers are finally happy they've got somewhere cold. And we've got another global warming token to make things warmer again if we need. Alright, let's give it a million years if, if nothing else new shows up. Okay, there's somebody new. Let's go enjoy him for just a split second before he probably dies. <gasps> Look at the little guy! Oh my gosh! It's the little mutated spider friend! Oh, I'm gonna call it the Aurora's! Migrates to cold climates as their numbers increase. Oh, friend, you are in the absolute wrong place for a cold climate. You're gonna die, like, right now. Ah! And I need my Euroraptors so that I'll be able to go ahead and... Oh, oh this is so hard. Because I can't save him because I don't have an empty DNA slot that I can stick him in. And then we have these little friends who I want to evolve into other things. They actually need it a lot cooler, too. I think we've made it too hot for everybody. I'm, I, I, think, I think we need to make it a lot colder. And we'll have better results. Yeah, I knew they were gonna die. Sorry, little spider bro. Oh, 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 oh. We've got, we've got somebody new. I'm gonna give it a million years of this, of this painful experience. And then we're gonna make it cooler and see if we can fix it. Cause, all right, where's the newbie? This is gonna be a little tricky to find. Cause we're starting to get a lot of life all over the place. Let's see. Oh, I, I see the newbie. Newbie's over here, over by the mountain. So let's come over to the mountain. Celebrating a birthday is even more precious in these trying times, friends. All right, where, oh, where is our newbie? You're around here somewhere, friend? Are you a plant? I don't mind if you're a plant, but I, I guess I was hoping, is it moving? Do we have a moving newbie? Somewhere in the highlands? Whoa! Is it somebody up here? It is moving! I mean, that's a good sign. I just need to find it. No, it's not moving. It's this guy! Unless the tree has just developed roots that can wander, it was never moving in the first place. Ah, oh, well, it is adapted to dry plains. All right, well, it's nice to meet you. Unfortunately, that's still a far cry from the kind of creatures we're hoping for. Um, so we'll wait. Let's just wait for a million years to pass to see if anything good happens. Th those fragile, fragile seaweeds just come and go, come and go so quickly. On the plus side, it does look like we actually have managed to spread moss and life to most of our land. But we seem caught up in a balance that just doesn't seem to be going anywhere. All right, I don't think we need a million years to tell me that this isn't gonna work, friends. I really don't. Let's make it cooler. Let's go ahead and we're gonna cool some stuff off I'm going to actually remove some of these oceans. So we're gonna we're gonna actually raise the land. And we're gonna start cooling a few things off. Sorry, sorry, seaweed. I worked so hard to get that seaweed and now I already have to like let them disappear again. Alright, come on. We're gonna cool you down. Alright, now we're at 39. I feel gypped. I feel like I was told, yes, yes, of course, just go ahead, make the world super, super hot. The dinosaurs will love it. And then I did, and now everyone's dead. Let's try this again. There's been a big temperature change as one of our oceans disappeared. All right. Cardium Fragali is still fussing about life. <gasps> We've got itchies again! Yay! Maybe our, we just have to, like, monitor that the populations are, like, a certain size. Alright, we have itchies, though. 
From Itchy's come the Doms, from the Doms come the Raptors, so we might be on our way to getting the Raptors back. We'll have to check it out in just a little bit. <gasps> whoa, 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 new friend, new friend! We've got a new friend! Do I have, do I have the, the little Doms back yet? All right. So maybe we made it too hot too fast and we like really have to monitor the size of the populations of certain things and also what they can adjust to. So maybe some of those creatures could have adjusted to a better temperature. This guy's still around, thank goodness. I really like him. All right, and now I need to find that guy is still around too. It makes me very happy to see that those guys are still here. I would love to see the, then the T-Rex needs 46 degrees Celsius and also food to eat. We need to build up our food chain, but it's really, really, really hard to kind of figure out how to build the food chain on your own. Because it's not, there's not like a clear link. If I was going to be a teacher, like teaching the food chain for these creatures, I would definitely make it a lot easier for people to understand the link between them. All right, there it is, there it is. I found the new life. All right, it's over here somewhere. <gasps> Hello, little guy. Hi, you've got spots on your rump and I love you. A small lizard that scurries through hot grasslands. It appears after the propagation of the dimes and the paras. Oh, what do you turn into, little friend? All right, let's check our library notes. Is that gonna be... <gasps> It's the little one that we need for the mammals! Yes! Oh my gosh! Okay, so we need trees. We're starting to get a lot of trees. Okay, we definitely need to capture this guy because he's he's our ancestor, friends! He is actually the itty bitty here. We're gonna vigorous vegetation. Like, absolutely. We need to get some vigorous vegetation over here. And then I actually need to go ahead and we're gonna get... Oh yeah, we'll put the little newt newt down. Little Newt Newt population, you're gonna go here. And then I wish I could capture him. He's so important. That guy is our, our ancestor, friends. So we need to be able to catch him and protect him. Also, I adore the fact that our little swamp fish are still surviving and thriving. That really makes me ridiculously happy because I love swamp fish. All right, let's go ahead and wait. Okay, our ancestors' population is doing okay. It's going up a little. Oh, hey! Another new birthday! This is exciting to have so many birthdays at once. We got to check in on our little guy, though. Ah, there's a raptor here! Oh my gosh! No! Great, 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 great grandpa! Oh no! A large reptile! that dwells near rivers in hot climates. It appears near the breeding grounds of Diphodon. You guys! Where's little grandpa? Oh no, the little tiny population that I was monitoring that we were just waiting to be able to catch in an empty jar that I can't use for generations, like several. Oh, there he is! <gasps> grandpa, you clever, clever little friend. He got up here. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Humanity still has a chance. The the ancestor of the very first mammal is frolicking about here. Oh, you smart little creature, you. I was really worried about you for just a minute, but you, you've you got this. Oh, look at this cool waterway he lives in with spiders that are just about as big as him. Oh, you poor thing. Hang in there. And meanwhile, down here, this is cool. This is really cool. Look at that cranky fella. Look at him. We have done this. I feel so freaking proud that we have done this. Let's go ahead and see if we can maybe mutate these trees. Because if we can get these trees really up and going and like fancy pantsy in the tree of life, can I mutate them? They will turn into other things in cool deserts. A viney plant that grows in the scorching desert. <sighs> Yeah, we're not scorching anymore, so that guy is not going to be able to mutate into anything really useful. We might be able to get the Diphilia, which we do have a population of, to evolve into that plant. So maybe, let's find a Diphilia. Is this Diphilia? No, not Diphilia. We do have some populations of Diphilias, and if we smack them, is this a Diphilia? 
No, not a diphilia. But if we go ahead and give like a evolutionary or a mutation seed to them, we might be able to snag ourselves. And there's the itchy. Oh, we might be able to snag ourselves a new plant. And itchy is you gave me such a headache. You need to mutate into so many other things, friend. You already did our little our little guy. You need to become the Dimetrodon again. And the Dimetrodon needs a cooler temperature. Ah, so that we can go ahead and the Dimetrodon needs to turn into many, many other creatures, I think. That, yeah, we, we need the Dimetrodon to turn back into the raptor. And then we needed to have, oh, we have the raptor. Okay, so the Eoraptor needs to mutate back into the Velociraptor is kind of the basic idea of things. And the birth temperature needs to be 49 to, or 39 to 49 degrees Celsius for the raptor. So if that's the case... And it just needs to be like 39. Let's come back over into the Raptor Valley that we had kind of over here. And let's actually try to make things super warm with a warmth stone right here. And maybe that will encourage the Raptor without really freaking out everybody else. We'll have to go ahead and see because that's going to make this area so much warmer. And it's going to leave everybody else alone, which I appreciate. And if we need like something that enjoys cool climates, I already put down, I already have the ice stone out, right? Whoops. Cause didn't I put the ice stone down over here? Oh, my ice stone is gone. What? I could have sworn I put the ice stone over here so we could try to get some things like mutated over here. All right, let's go ahead and get the ice stone here. All right, and with those stones, we should be good. Where is that plant? I was going to try to find that plant. So I wish you could, like, have a way to, like, highlight certain plants on your cube. But at the same time, it feels really fitting to have to, like, go and search for them. Because I wanted to see if we could get that little bellflower plant. Oh, here they are. There we go. I'm pretty sure these are the ones I'm looking for. And then let's see if we can get you to mutate or do something fun, friend. See the mutation. There we go. All right. And then let's back up and see this guy. See the mutation. And let's see what we get. We're almost 4, 4 million years old. <gasps> we have a couple newbies. Yes. All right. New birthdays. What do we have? I really hope. Where's my heat stone? Where did my heat stone go? I, I legitimately just left it right here. I thought the heat stones like stayed in place. Didn't they? Huh. Did my heat stone get like blasted away? Here, we're going to leave that there. And hopefully that'll work. And then I think one of the newbies... Is one of the newbies down here? Oh, my swamp fish are doing good. Where are my newbies? We have to wait just a moment. Aha, aha, aha. I saw you. Somewhere over here on the map, we have... <gasps> Look at you, friend. Oh, guys, he's cool. What do we have here? Oh, it's a Euroraptor who likes to live in hot, dry regions. How neat. I hope everything is like hot and dry enough for you around here. It's, it's a little cool, but I have hope for you. I have hope for you. Um, and then there was another new friend who's apparently shown up somewhere around here. All right, I see him. All right, we'll go up to the survey peak. And then new friend over here. <gasps> we did it! 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 You guys! 6,666 population. <laughs> and the very first mammal has appeared. Level 5 rarity. The first mammal. It protects itself by hiding in the shade, shadow of trees. In hot climates, it runs away from Diphlodon. Welcome, friend. Oh, this is so cool. Let's go ahead and capture his DNA in a jar. We need him. This is why I was so worried about that other guy. Oh, I can't use it yet. Oh, that's really not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. What do I do? 
Uh, here, we'll put the ear up or down. Well, actually, I probably really needed to protect that guy. We've only got 200,000 of them, but still, we've got the little mammal friend. Oh, can we help him, like, really start spreading all over the world? Because that would be really cute. I know it's supposed to be the age of dinosaurs, but look at him. He's so cute. There's plains and prairies and tropical wetlands that he could turn into. Oh my gosh, and then he might turn into saber-tooth cats. <gasps> and then mammoths and wolves. Okay, what did we just manage to stumble upon? Because my mind is a little blown right now. We need some areas that are a little cooler than this. And then areas that are a little hotter, and we might end up with some of uh, some of those guys. I guess we can go ahead and try to use a seed of mutation on him. Okay, that is so cool. We have our first mammal! I hope he does well. <laughs> okay, and now we have a bunch of other creatures. You can't even turn away! The, like, the action is on, life is back. We just made everything way too freaking hot last time, apparently. I've learned my lesson to use my global warming abilities cautiously. Um, oh, this guy is so cool, too. I really hope he sticks around. Can I capture him? Because he's actually, like, one of my legit favorites. Let's see, can I capture anybody yet? Ah, oh, I can't capture anybody yet. Curses. Alright, but we're actually on top of one of our newbies. So let's see. Oh, there he is! It's another little mammal! We have two little mammals! A mutated one who wanders the tropical wetlands! Oh, he's a little, his little rapto. We're just going to call him Little Rap. Rap the Rat. Oh, he's precious. All right. And then we have another newbie that has evolved over here. Where, oh, where? Oh, my gosh. Really? Really? Okay, life is getting really interesting on our, on our little exoplanet because now we have a legless reptile that has adapted to very hot climates. It hunts down Diphlodon whenever their numbers have grown in abundance. And we've leveled up. You guys! Yay! I, I'm a little nervous because we're still not quite getting to where I thought we could get with being able to really help out, um, you know, a lot of the creatures to evolve. And I mean, on the, the plus side, we are filling out our tree of life. On the downside, I have no idea how we're supposed to get to Tyrannosaurus Rex without making everybody else, like, wipe out. And I also really, 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 really want this avian, but I need to make things really hot again. Ooh, we might have to play with that a little bit. We might have to play with that a little bit. That's just amazing. And then also, if we can't have the populations of this guy go up because he's kind of a genetic inline, I wonder if we should actually use our rainbow ability on him to kind of freeze him in time so we just get to keep him forever. Because I really love that guy. He looks kind of like a koi fish to me in the air. Which sounds really weird to say. But that's how I think about him. And I kind of love having these spectator points that we've created so we can watch him fly. So alright guys. Thank you so much for joining me as we have had another wonderful day here at our overgrown little, little exoplanet. Hi friend. And oh, thank you guys so much for watching as we finally have little mammals. Oh, he squeaks. Oh, that's precious. It was fun as we finally have little mammals come and join us. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.